Hello everybody, my name is Henny. I live in Seoul. Uh, today, I'm going to be sharing the part of the secret which was written by Rhonda Bond uh, because my life changed a lot after reading this book. So I'd like to give you the opportunity to read this book for your life. Okay, let me start. Like attracts like the simplest way for me to look at the law of attraction is if i think of myself as a magnet and i know that a magnet will attract to it you are the most powerful magnet in the universe you contain a magnetic power within you that is more powerful than anything in this world and this unfathomable magnetic power is emitted through your thoughts. Basically put, the law of attraction says that like attracts like. But we are really talking at a level of thoughts. The law of attraction says like attracts like and so as you think a thought, you are also attracting like thoughts to you. Here are more examples you may have experienced of the love attraction in your life. Have you ever started to think about something you were not happy about? And the more you thought about it, the worse it seemed? That's because as you think, on sustained thought. The law of attraction immediately brings more like thought to you. In a matter of minutes, you have gotten so many like unhappy thoughts coming to you that the situation seems to be getting worse. The more you think about it, the more upset you get. You may have experienced attracting like thoughts when you listened to a song and then found that you couldn't get that song out of your head. The song just kept playing over and over in your mind. When you listen to that song, even though you may not have realized it, you gave your full attention and focus of thought to it. As you did that, you are powerfully attracting more like thought of that song. And so the law of attraction moved into action and delivered more thoughts of that song over and over again. Our job as humans is to hold on to the thought of what we want, make it absolutely clear in our minds what we want. And from that, we started to invoke one of the greatest laws in the universe. That's the law of attraction. You become what you think about most, but you also attract what you think about most. Your life right now is your reflection of your past thoughts that includes all the great things and all the things you consider not so great since you attract to you when you think about most it is easy to see what your dominant thoughts have been on every subject of your life because that is what you have experienced. Until now, now you are learning the secret and with this knowledge, you can change everything. If you see it in your mind, you are going to hold it in your hand. If you can think of about what you want in your mind 
and make that your dominant thought. You will bring it into your life. And the principle can be summed up in three simple words. Thoughts become things. Through this most powerful law, your thoughts become the things in your life. Your thoughts become things. Say this over to yourself and let it seep into your consciousness and your awareness. Your thoughts become things. What most people don't un understand is that a thought has a frequency. You can measure a thought. And so if you are thinking that thoughts over and over and over again, if you are imagining in your mind having that brand new car, having the money that you need, building that company, finding your soulmate, if you are imagining what that looks like, you are emitting that frequency on a constant basis. Thoughts are sending out that magnetic signal that is drawing the parallel back to you. The predominant thought or the mental attitude is the magnet. And the law is that like attracts like. Consequently, the mental attitude will invariably attract such conditions as correspond to its nature. Thoughts are magnetic and thoughts have a frequency. As you think, those thoughts are sent out into the universe and they magnetically attract all like things that are on the same frequency. Everything sent out returns to the source and the source is you. Think of it this way. We understand that a television station's transmission tower broadcasts via our frequency, which is transformed into pictures on your television. Most of us don't really understand how it works, but we know that each channel has a frequency. And when we tune into that frequency, we see the pictures on our television. We choose the frequency by selecting the channel and we then receive the pictures broadcast on that channel. If we want to see different pictures on our television, we change the channel and tune into a new frequency. You are a human transmission tower and you are more powerful than any television tower created on earth. You are the most powerful transmission tower in the universe. Your transmission creates your life and it creates the world. The frequency you transmit reaches beyond the cities, beyond the countries, beyond the world, it reverberates throughout the entire universe and you are transmitting that frequency with your thoughts. The pictures you receive from the transmission of your thoughts are not on a television screen in your living room. They are the pictures of your life. Your thoughts create the frequency they attract like things on their frequency and then they are broadcast back to you as your life pictures. If you want to change anything in your life, change the channel and change the frequency by changing your thought. The vibrations of mental forces are the finest and consequently the most powerful in existence. See yourself living in abundance and you will attract it. 
it works every time in every person. As you think of yourself living in abundance, you are powerfully and consciously determining your life through the law of attraction. It's that easy. But then the most obvious question becomes, why isn't everybody living in the, the life of their dreams? That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.